Then the Lord said, Put your hand inside your cloak. So Moses put his hand into his cloak, and when he took it out, it was leprous, with like snow. Now put it back into your cloak, he said. So Moses put his hand back into his cloak. When he took it, uh, when he took it out, it was restored, like the rest of his flesh. Then the Lord said, If they do not believe you or pay attention to the first miraculous sign, they may believe the second. <clears throat> Isn't that crazy? God has to show us multiple times who he is or what and what he can do. And we still may not believe, even in our faith. That's just, uh, I know, the, the things, when I see this, I, I, I in my mind, claim like, I get images of claymation sheep, dumb, googly eyed, just standing there <laughs> looking cute, but at the same time, just like, Duh, you know, <laughs> I don't know why that, that comes up, but it's just one of those, it's like God's showing us something and yet we may question it, <clears throat> but that does happen throughout the Bible. We and people do question God. They they like, well, I saw this once, but can you do it again? Can you show me maybe one more time? So it just goes to show, again, that humanistic part. What would you do? So, um, but if they do not believe these two signs or listen to you, take some water from the Nile and pour it on the dry ground. The water you take from the river will become blood on the ground. Moses said to the Lord, O oh Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. And I feel that same way too. <laughs> I mean... I I don't feel like my speech is eloquent. I don't even feel like I've heard the sound of my voice and it's not the way I internally hear it. And so when I hear it, uh, sometimes it sounds like I have a lisp. Sometimes it sounds like I'm speaking in a higher pitch than I feel like I'm speaking. It just is really, I don't, I don't know. It's, it just freaks me out. <clears throat> but, you know, every, every now and then I get told, well, your voice just sounds like a radio host. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm like, really? Okay, well, <clears throat> in this case, Moses, he was telling Moses with a huge task, with the, you know, enormous task. Imagine, imagine like if you were to go, he was like, I need you to go to the most populous New York City, or I need you to go into Tokyo, or I need you to go into uh, Singapore, some you know Hong Kong, someplace super populous where there's just millions and millions of people, and say this. So how would you feel? How how would you take it? Especially speaking with authority, speaking with power, you know, and knowing that God's with you, I definitely know that that's going to make a difference. The Lord said to him, who gave man his mouth? That was a rhetorical question right there. <laughs> that God is saying, who makes him deaf or mute? Who gives him sight or makes him blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you. I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. And I truly believe that the Holy Spirit takes over and you will just be speaking and you could be speaking a different language. You could be speaking your language. You could be speaking and, and the Lord, Holy Spirit has taken over. The Lord has taken over and you are and you are there. And just realizing that there's amazement coming out of your mouth and it's right and it's correct. And you feel that you feel that it's right. And it's correct. You feel that like a hug, like love. You feel that. And it's, it's amazing. So, but Moses said, Oh Lord, please send someone else to do it. Now at this time he's talking to the Lord in a burning bush. So 
he's I'm going to say, uh, or is this the burning version? I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I just, uh, I believe, you know, this. he's talking to the Lord. No matter what, he's talking to the Lord. And he's feeling that holy presence. And it's tremendous. You feel everything. You feel your reflection. You feel you uh, you feel the guilt, you feel the shame, you feel the humbleness, you feel the authority, you feel the power, you you have the fear, like everything just wrapped into one. You have that love, and it's so. It's you know, what would you say? What would you do? How would you react? Then the Lord angered. Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses, and he said, What about your brother Aaron the Levite? I know he can speak well. He is already on his way to meet you, and his heart will be glad when he sees you. You shall speak to him and put words in his mouth. I will help both of you speak and will teach you what to do. He will speak to the people for you, and it will be as if he were your mouth and as if you were God to him. But take the staff in your hand so you can perform miraculous signs with it. 